Every night when you turn on the TV, you see some goofy guy predicting the weather. Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. Well, most of the time he is right. But how do they do that? Now, more complete coverage continues with Kathy Ray. Hello, Sawyer. Hi, Allison. My name is Kathy Ray, and I do the news here at News 13. But I was on the air in Providence. I've lived there, you guys, for 10 years. I lived in Barrington. And I was on WJAR-TV with Doug White. Nathan Tenenbaum with your complete forecast. And he's going to be giving us the weather forecast. Very different than Providence. Hey, Nate. Now, your complete forecast with News 13's Nate Tenenbaum. Well, a lot of wild weather going on around the country. Uh, Hi Sawyer. Hi Allison. My name's Nathan Tannenbaum. I do the weather here at News 13 inside Las Vegas. And we have more complete coverage. More complete coverage. Uh, let's talk about the weather and how I get my weather information into all of these computers here and how we put that on TV. Now we start out with a satellite dish that's out in the backyard. Should we show them the satellite dish, Dave? <laughs> Oh, this is that satellite dish we were talking about. That thing is pointed up at a satellite way out there in space. And did you guys know that there's a satellite out in space that takes a satellite photograph of Earth every 30 minutes? There's a little timer on it like this that goes. When the timer goes off, bing, it tells a camera on the satellite that it's time to take a picture of the Earth. Click, and then it starts all over again. Why would I want to take a picture of the Earth every 30 minutes? Isn't it going to still look like the Earth? Wouldn't one picture of the Earth be fine? I mean, taking a picture of, your, of the Earth every 30 minutes, that's like taking a picture of your Uncle Dave every 30 minutes. You're looking at the pictures of Dave. Oh, look, it's a picture of Dave. Another picture of Dave every 30 minutes. Dave, 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 Dave. OK, I got it. I got it. What's the deal? Well, here's why we take a picture of the Earth every 30 minutes, Allison and Sawyer, because the clouds move and we can show you these pictures one right after the other and you can see how the clouds have started out over California and they're heading for Nevada and this green and yellow stuff that's radar indicating where it's raining hey Nate said that it's gonna rain today yeah but why does it rain uh, rain is a part of what we call the water cycle, and there's three parts to the water cycle. Water always is evaporating from the ocean or after it rains. So when it rains, the water will make little puddles. Then a couple of days later, the puddle will disappear. That means it's evaporated, where the air is turning into teeny tiny little drops that you can't even see. They're going up in the air. A bunch of them start hanging out together, and that makes a new cloud. After a while, the cloud gets full of water, and eventually, if it runs into some warmer or cooler air, it'll rain. It'll get that water out of the cloud. So you have rain, then you have evaporation, then you have what's called condensation or making a new cloud. So that's our water cycle. Precipitation, evaporation, condensation going on all over our planet all the time. That's where rain comes from. Is weather different in different places? We're going to talk about why it's colder where you are and warmer where we are. Your Uncle Dave and all of us here at News 13 inside Las Vegas. Inside Las Vegas. Um, Providence, Rhode Island, right here. And if we can click on that, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Las Vegas at this time, it's 50 degrees. This gets into another weather word that you're probably going to hear in school or as you continue your studies of weather. It's called climate. And climate means the kind of weather that happens in a different spot on the Earth. In the North Pole, it's always really cold. Down here in South America, where it rains so much that rain is a part of its name and we're talking about rain forest. This is kind of where you guys are. And you guys are a little further north, closer to the North Pole than we are over here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Did you know that in the summertime here in Las Vegas it can get up to 115 degrees? Oh, that's hot. Oh, I need some lemonade. What, what, what is thunder and lightning? Well, sometimes one bunch of air, like the warm air that'd be hanging out over Las Vegas in the summertime, 
some cold air wants to come in and the warm air says, no, wait a minute, I want to stay here. And the cold air says, oh yeah, you just watch out, mister. I'm coming in and I'm taking over. And the warm air says, oh yeah, I'm staying right here and I don't think there's anything you can do about it. So basically, the cooler air and the warm air start fighting. And as the warm air and cooler air are fighting, there's a buildup of electrical charges inside those clouds. And if there's, like we say, there's too much water in a cloud, it's going to rain. If there's too much electricity in a cloud, the only way for a cloud to get rid of excess electrical charge buildup is lightning. Yes, there were some rain showers earlier today, but they have moved offshore from the tip of Florida. When we're doing the weather, we're standing in front of nothing. And it looks like when you're watching at home that there really are all these maps behind me, but those are those pictures coming out of the weather computer. Actually, I have to do what they're paying me to do here, and that's getting ready to do a newscast. Um, but if you have any other questions, I'm sure that you'll write them down or email them to Dave, and we'll try to answer them. In the meantime, have fun with your studies. And uh, we'll see you later. This has been the Dave and Elko Projection.